So welcome back from the commercial break. Uh, we are continuing with our discussion about uh, personal fractions. So we are continuing with examples about these partial fractions that we are dealing with. So in that case we are continuing with the examples. Uh, remember we are still looking at linear linear fractions. Now we say that also when we are talking of linear fraction we can give you a quadratic if a quadratic equation and they say they want you to continue expressing it in terms of partial fraction. Uh, take an example, there is an equation here which is 2x plus 1 out of, out of x minus 1 times 3x squared as x squared uh, plus 7x plus 3. Plus 7x plus 3. So that is the equation which we have on our in front of us. Uh, we say that when they give you a question like this, we say first see whether here what you are dealing with is giving you uh, something which can be uh, expressed into its uh, factors. Then that's what I'm trying to mean is that which can be factorized to its simplest form. Like when you take 3 x squared plus 7 x plus 3. So you first see whether it has factors. Now for this case, uh, for this case the sum is 7 uh, product is a 9. When my this time this is a 9. So for that case, you see whether we have two, uh, two numbers which when you add you get 7 and when you multiply them you get also a 9. So if you try to check the rule, what we have we shall find that uh, when we take 3 and for this one it gives us 7 and when we multiply them we don't get 9. Also the 3 uh, three, this one gives us nine, but when you add them, it can't give us seven. So we try to check on other values. Uh, for this case, let us go to uh, which can give us nine and seven. Uh, for that case, um, for that case, if I consider one. And the 8, that one cannot give me the 9 which I want. So for that case, you have to conclude that if they are not there, you conclude that they are not there. But if they are there, you also use them. Like for this case, what I'm seeing, uh, they are not there. So if they are not there, you continue as usual. Uh, and getting it uh, in the other way format what we said. So for this case this is not a linear, a linear uh, fraction which you have to expand using it near fraction. This one you shall find it in the quadratic which we are heading to. So they just get us another question. Another question is um, uh, two x squared minus 2x squared minus x plus 1 out of this one is x squared minus 1 times times x plus a 2 
So this is what we have. We say you first see on the numerator, not the denominator, not the numerator, but we see only the denominator which is down, not what is up. Is what we consider only the denominator, that's what we consider when determining uh, how are we going to handle this. Now for this case, you are seeing we have this one and this. This is already linear, but this one is not a linear. So we see the way how we can make this one also become a linear. I'm seeing this one is squared and the sign which is separating them, the, the, the two is a minus. So also the one can be made to be a square. That, that, for that case, when I say one squared, I get a one. So for this case, this one will be equivalent to, or what I can say, this one is the same as say two x squared minus x plus one out of, this one becomes x plus one. Because if you apply a square, it will be a difference of two squares. So you have to apply it on this one. So it becomes x plus one to x minus one. So times x plus a. A two. This one is equivalent to is equivalent to. So all of these ones are linear. So we say it is a out of x plus one, n plus b out of x uh, minus one plus c out of x, then x plus c. A two. So for this case, I say when you come here, you say it is 2x squared minus x plus 1 is equivalent to 2. So we get the LCM, which is that, which will be a into x minus 1 into x plus a, a 2 plus b into x, into x plus 1 times x plus a 2. Then I say plus c into x plus 1 again times x minus a, a 1. So that's what I have. Now for that case, we have to continue uh, by expressing everything uh, and getting the value of a, b, and c. So we said we begin by trying out the values. We say when we see which one can be made to become zero so that we can get other values. So for this case, we are going to say when we begin with one, when x equals one. So we put here one, we see whether it gives us a zero. So this one will go to zero, which will multiply everything to become zero. So we are here. When I put here 1, this one will be 2, and this one will be 3, so 3 times 2, which is a 6. So for this case, we shall have that this side is, when you put 1, that is 1 times 2, which is a 2. Then this one and this one will cancel, so we remove this one, a 2 equals 2. Here we said you have 6b. So when you put here a 1, this one will be 0, which will apply everything here to be 0. So we are with the mean is b equals 2, 2 out of 6. So when you reduce by 2, and here by 2, 3, so b will be equal to 1 out of 3. So also, we say again when, when x is, we are seeing here we have 2 plus 2, so we say when x is equal to negative 2. We put in this one, that means everything will die to zero. Also here it will die to zero. So when you put there negative two, so it becomes four times two, which is eight. Also this one, two plus this, which becomes now nine. Which becomes, not nine, it is negative two, which is four, times that, which is eight. So also this one, negative 2 times the negative, which becomes a plus 2 plus 3, 1, which gives us this side when we put in negative 2. So this one will be a negative 3 times this one, which is a 3, which will be 3, 6, so 8, 
that is 19 uh, 11 so it becomes 11 equals it's this c so for this case this one will be now a c is equal to 11 out of three for it cannot be reduced we leave it like that so we go to the next thing so we are remaining with the, the a so that means we are going to substitute when since here we use x as 1, let us use when x is negative 1. So that when I put here negative 1, everything will go to 0. Also the same thing yet will go to 0. So when I put here negative 1, so it will give me uh, the other one is 1, that is 3, 4. So here it will be 4 uh, is equal to, so when I put here negative 1, here it becomes negative 2. And when I put in this one, so it is negative 2 a. So for this case, our a is equal to negative 2. So after getting the values in terms of a, b, and c, we have now substituted them back in expression. So this is x squared, 2x squared plus, this minus x, plus 1 out of x squared minus 1, then again times x plus 2. This one gives us uh, where this a we put in the value, so which will give us a negative 2 out of the value of, of x, which is down, which is x plus 1. Again, then here it is plus. So we put in the value of b, b is 1 out of the the value which is down, so here it will be 3 into uh, x minus 1, then again plus here the value of c which is 11 out of 3 into, into x plus a 2. So this is what we shall have after substituting the value of a. B and C. So by doing that, we have uh, expressed the equation in terms of partial fraction. Now that one concludes our our expression of partial fraction in terms of linear equations. So we we'll continue when we expand and when we express the partial fraction is in two, the quadratic. So what we do we consider when we talk about the quadratic? So for a quadratic, when they say quadratic, quadratic fractions. We said here, I'll we'll first check on the denominator, how the denominator is arranged, then we we'll see which type of fraction is it. So the linear we are finished here, we are going to the quadratic. So for the quadratic, for that to get the quadratic fraction, we say we have to see that the denominator is uh, the quadratic equation, the denominator, has no factors. So if it has no factors, that means we shall use the other format. If, uh, take an example, if it is in form of x squared, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, or uh, when, it, when we don't put equals 0, uh, when it is in form of ax squared plus b x plus c. So for that case, the denominator, when the denominator is in this form, mm, and it cannot be factorized, so it cannot be reduced into its simplest form. What we do, we have to represent the partial fraction in, in, in this form, which is a x plus b out of c out of the value of ax plus bx plus c. 
So it has to be arranged like that. Then down you put that quadratic equation which we are dealing with. Where by where a comma b and c are are just constants. They are just constants like one, two, three, four, like that. And also this where this a capital A and capital B are also constants. So for that case, that's how we can deal with it. the quadratic fractions. So by having that, we can continue with it. the examples when you when are dealing with it, the quadratic uh, fractions. So the, it is saying that he, uh, examples that express this one in terms of partial fraction in form of partial fractions so which is 2x minus 1 out of uh, x minus 1 into x squared plus 1 so we are expanding this one in terms of partial fraction we are seeing that this one is nothing which can be done on it to factorize anything which is x squared plus something it cannot be factorized so this one we will not take it like that so this one becomes now when we are letting in terms of root a fraction this is a linear this is non linear so if we say for the linear it is just a into x minus one then plus then the one which is a quadratic 